I'm going to give away three copies of this new plugin, so stick till the end and you will know how you can win one. What with producers and plugins that will ruin your sound? Well, imperfection can be beautiful if you use it right. Today we're looking at Yumario's new plugin Drifter, an effect from their lo-fi series. Now I'm not a lo-fi producer, so when I got the plugin I was like, really? An effect just to randomly drop the gain? So I started testing it on different stuff. It has three different ways to lower the gain, fast and noisy, long and slow, and sudden dropouts. Each one have four modes, and Ripple and Rift have a width control. <laughs> My first thought was, well, this can be a nice texture for pads or keys, keeping it subtle, and I was right. It adds a vibey effect by making the sound less perfect. But in some cases, it can get a little bit annoying, so then I tried it as an sporadic effect. maybe for ear candy and even build-ups. And yeah, it sounds pretty nice. And if you want to make like a build up when the sound starts getting destroyed, the mix knob works like an attenuator. Now, something that I really liked are the width controls. With them, the random gain drops will be different from the left and the right channel. And because of that, strangely, the signal will be more stable. This creates a nice stereo effect and combined with the mix slider, it can add width to different sounds. Take me away. This plugin is $79 and it's currently on 50% off. Not only that, if you already own other Yumaurios Lo-Fi plugins, you get extra 50% discount for each one of them. So in total, you can get also 60% off. That made me realize that all of these plugins are great on their own, but they are also meant to be used together depending on your needs. Drops in game combined with pitch drifting, pitch drops, and this weird reverser effect can make complex chains of sound processing to produce unique effects. Now, as I said, I'm not a Lo-Fi producer, but I wanted to give it a try, so I decided to use every Yumario Lo-Fi plugin and see what I can do. I feel I overdid it because I processed the lo fi of each track individually. For instance, here in the piano you can see I have Lo-Fi Playtime, Lo-Fi Pitch Drop, and the Flux Machine. On the drums, again, the Flux Machine and Drifter. On the Mellotron, I only use Drifter. And on the strings, I used the Grater, which is an extreme compression plugin, Drifter, and the Pitch Drop. Oh, and after the River and everything else, I used again the Flux Machine. And yet I even added stuff in the master bus, as the tape stop, the flux machine, the drifter, I even used a multiband compressor, and a convolution device. This is the result.
let me know in the comments if I did a good lo-fi track. Honestly, this was a really fun experiment. So tell me what you think about these plugins in the comments. I'm going to leave two links in the description on where you can get these plugins. One is going to be Jumaudio's site, and the other is going to be an affiliate link. You can buy these or any other plugin that you want, and a small commission will go back to me. That's a nice way to support the channel. So Jumaudio gave me three licenses to make a giveaway. To participate is very simple. First, you have to be subscribed to the channel, and secondly, I'm going to leave a pinned comment where you have to reply how you use effects that ruin your sound. It can be anything, not only the ones by you, Mario. So best of luck, thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.